So girls, this is the third reading of headaches and this is level three. The first one was zero, then it was two, and now this is they're very similar, just changing a little bit. So, uh, Lily, start to read. Uh, if you get re regular, regular headaches, you are not alone. A new report says half of us suffer from them. Researchers from the Norway, Nor Norwegian. Norwegian University of Science and Technology looked at three 357 different studies on headaches from 1961 to 2020. Um, right. So Linda, if you can continue. Okay. The, the report was published in the Journal of Headache and Pain. The studies were mainly from rich countries. They included information on general headaches, migraine and headaches from tension. The researchers said that 52% of people in the study suffered from some form of headache every year. The lead researcher, Lars Jacob Stovner, was surprised that the numbers were so big and that so many people got headaches. Right, Claudia. The researchers found that women are more likely to get headaches than men. They said 17% of women get migraines compared to 9% of men. 6% of women get headaches on 15 or more days a month, while the number is 3% for men. Mr. Stopner said, what is clear is that overall headache disorders are highly prevalent worldwide and can be a great pain. Right, Selma. He said, okay. He said more people are getting headaches saying, the data does suggest that headaches and migraine rates may be increasing. Stovner added that more research was needed. He said it was important to analyze the different causes of headaches, to target prevention and treatment more effect effectively. Right, so as you can see from zero to three, the difference is they add a little bit more information and uh, they mm -hmm. fill it out a little bit, but the essence is the same talking about the headaches and how much percentage. So at the bottom of this picture, you can see four names of headaches. There are hundreds of different uh, words that uh, the doctors use. But here we've got sinus. So that I imagine it comes to do with the nose. Tension, which is across here. Migraine and cluster. I didn't know the word for cluster. I didn't know that one. So I think of all of these, I would be worried about getting migraines because um, mm -hmm. people suffer a lot from them. So Selma, would mm -hmm. you like to do question number one at the top? Okay. Do you often have a headache? No, I can say that uh, not very often, but I have headaches many times in my life. Right, and from this picture, where do you normally, in which part of your head does it hurt? The second one, tension. Tension here. I see. Right, uh, yeah. okay. Claudia, question number two. When exactly do you sometimes have a headache? I think it's more cause the, the headache is caused in my case because of tension. When I'm worried or stressed, I used to have headache. Right. Okay. And in your case, what helps you get rid of the headache? Sometimes I use um, eyes over my for, my forehead. forehead to um, to, re re to relieve the pain. 
and oh. uh, maybe some kill pain. <laughs> oh, tablets, pills, tablets, tablet. uh, painkillers, yeah. right? Painkiller. Okay. Right, so I something cold, no here on your forehead. Right, <coughs> sorry, Linda, your next question. Um, do you think you know why you have a headache? Um, yes, um, most of the time in my case, it's because when I walk, for example, on the sunshine, um, for example, for a long time, especially in summer. So I always have headache. Right, so After, you're affected like by the sunlight, the rays, no? Yeah. yeah. The strong yeah. sun rays, you're affected and this brings okay. on a headache. And in your case, what yeah. do you do? In my case, I to avoid, uh, I try to not go out, for example, at uh, 1 p.m., for example, to... Um, Maybe at uh, 4 p.m. I avoid to walk outside uh, under the sunshine. And uh, mm -hmm. I also drink, when, when it happened that I have headache, I, I drink lemon juice and the, it suits me, really. It suits the pain. Lemon juice? Yeah. Lemon okay, juice. I was just making sure I understood correctly. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you don't go out when there are strong sun rays and you try yeah. to stay in? Uh, with the high point, I think, is between 12 and 4, for example, I think, yeah. when they're the highest. And Lily, the next question. Uh, what helps you when you have a headache? Um, I try to take a nap or uh, I try to sleep for a while uh, and it, it helps me. Right. So mm -hmm. everyone finds their own solution to this problem. Uh, someone told me today they use uh, peppermint. You'll have to look that up. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain peppermint. And they put it here and they do a, a massage. So also if mm -hmm. it's tension or something, if you try to relax and go to sleep, sleep is a very good uh, cure for many things. No, Right, Salma, the mm -hmm. next one. Uh, do you think your headache comes from a lot of stress? Sometimes I think that it's uh, because of the stress, but uh, uh, maybe um, uh, when I, I don't sleep well, mm -hmm. uh, but stress, uh, I think it's, it's the principal, it's the main, it's the main cause. <laughs> right okay it's the main headache. cause for your headaches mm -hmm. the next one claudia does light does light bother you when you have a headache oh um, i'm not sure uh i think <laughs> do you do you have a general um, disease i know i don't know if that's the word and you, you feel, feel bad ill and maybe Yes, and yeah, it helps to close the curtains and right. stay under the shadow or in a dark In a dark room. room. Yeah, right. it helps, no? Yes. Okay, so for example, uh, before I used to have headaches here at the back of my head, and I was quite worried about that when I used to, and I did everything to relax, uh, and not to be stressed because I worried about this being something more serious, no? Uh, does anyone try mm -hmm. and solve the problem without taking tablets, maybe? Or do you try and do something natural? Or do you just go straight for the tablets? Um. And nobody here suffers from migraine, no? Migraine. No, no. Migraine oh, we're very lucky. Terrible. I've heard of people that suffer a lot from this from years in, and they get migraines mm -hmm. every day and things like that. So my last question for mm -hmm. everybody is, why do you think from the article, it says women have more migraines than men? I know migraines, not headaches. Why do men headaches. suffer less headaches than women? Lily, any idea? 
in my opinion is because uh, women uh, um, we are more stressful <laughs> i was laughing before oh, we, get, but we get more stress <laughs> i just thought she's going to come up with something right so you think that men have a quieter life less stressful than women and women yeah, yeah. have to deal with more on their plates, no? I don't know, this mm -hmm. is her opinion. And Linda? Yeah, I think that because we have different, we are different uh, physically, men and women are physically different. There is some period. Uh, oh, maybe with hormones, no? Our hormones, our yeah, chemistry. Yeah, exactly, no? yeah. So, Maybe this is uh, for something in this case. And maybe also women have more chores to do than men. Or oh, more activities, more tasks, no? Sure. To do. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah. And Claudia, would you like to add something? Why you think women have I more think, uh, Yes, I think uh, we, have, we are more... Um, uh, we have more headaches because our hormonal system, because women um, monthly have uh, uh, changes in, in their body because of their hair period. And oh, that's yes. uh, an important part of our changes. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. And so our body has a lot and, and of- men doesn't, doesn't suffer of that. Right, so mm -hmm. men don't have so many uh, hormonal changes in their body, and maybe their chemicals, I don't know the names of them, but they have higher percentages of some mm -hmm. uh, things in their body. Uh, but I think also, I'm not going to say this, I'm going to let Selma finish. What do you think, Selma? Mm -hmm. Have no, you anything I else? Uh, I agree. No, I agree with the, the girls, the right. hormones and the worries worries a lot of chores this is it i think we are worriers <laughs> as uh, people i think women are worriers and um it would be fantastic someone said to me the other day something i can't remember like why do you worry have you got the solution can you stop it so why worry about it no but i think it's in our nature to worry before it even gets there no and this causes tension. And also maybe because uh, of the way we sit in front of the computer all day and our way of living now, they could cause more. Uh, I don't know, do you think uh, air pollution and the things we eat causes headaches? Could do, no? Because we have a lot of pesticides on the foods, uh, lots of chemicals, no? But what we agree on, women have a lot of tasks to do in general. Mm -hmm. It was a shame we haven't got a man here to defend the side of the story, no, but we, are, <laughs> we haven't. It's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we will say this, that we think that women are worriers. Uh, we have more tasks on our plate to deal with. And also, maybe the biggest effect is our hormones. Uh, they're changing all the time, and this doesn't help us. Anyway, girls, yeah. thank you for reading these uh, <laughs> three articles about the same thing and sharing me your opinion about headaches and migraines. So, bye well, for now. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. bye, -bye.